Hi everyone, today I will be showing you some cool stuff I discovered when working with Copilot Studio. It has been a while for me to work with Power Virtual Agents, so I decided to try out the new kit on the block. Copilot Studio is not just Power Virtual Agents with a new name, it also has new features like plugins. But in this video, I will show you a bunch of features that I haven't seen in a lot of community videos or posts. I will go through a bunch of things like copy and paste, the code editor, and the Copilot source code. Let's go to my desktop and show you all about it. Okay, here we are in Copilot Studio. I already created a Copilot for this demo, so it's called Copilot Demo. It has all the default settings except one, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. In this demo, I would love to show you how you can use copy and paste inside of the Copilot Studio. So what you can do there is open up a topic. You can select a message that you want to copy, for instance. You can hit the copy button here. You also have cut and paste and delete, for instance. But if I want to copy this to another part of this topic, I can just hit the plus and hit paste. And then it will copy the same message in there. This also works with multiple topics. So when you go to the topic overview again, and you go to another topic, for instance, lesson two, and I want to copy the same thing, or I want to paste the same thing here, I can just hit a plus and paste it, and it will work through multiple topics. What is really interesting as well is that you can uh, use the code editor within uh, the Copilot Studio. And this is really cool because you can hit the three dots at the top right corner and select open code editor. And this will show you like a backend view of the topic. So this is really cool uh, because you can also select multiple actions if you want to. So I can copy this part, which is two messages uh, the first one says, I'm happy to help with store hours. And the second one will talk about the Redmond hours and it will uh, show you also the Seattle hours. So when I copy this and I go to close code editor and I will paste it at, at the end, it will paste multiple actions. So this can be really, really valuable when you have actions that you want to reuse a lot through different topics. Or when you, for instance, want to use this uh, for multiple clients or uh, you can have some kind of library of topics or action sets that you want to create here. There's also another thing. And for that, I need to go back to the Copilot's overview of Copilot Studio. And when you create a new Copilot, you always uh, need to make sure that you hit the edit advanced options because here you can select which solution you want to create your copilot in. Uh, so it's really important that you do this because um, for this feature, I'm going to use the Power Platform CLI and let me switch to Windows Terminal because I have the Power Platform CLI here. And when I run pack, you can see all the different command groups that we have here. In this case, we are gonna use the solution command group and the solution command group has a lot of commands. It has the solution in it, add reference, list. It has a whole bunch of things like exporting solutions. Uh, you can also unpack a solution if you already have the zip file on your machine. And in this case, we are gonna use the clone solution command because that's something that will combine the export and the unpack. Uh, so it will export the solution from your environment and it will unpack it locally. In this case, we are gonna run pack solution list first because I want to see which solutions are in my environment. And as you can see, it's a fairly new environment and it only has a couple of uh, solutions in there, but we are gonna use the Copilot demo solution because I created that just for this demo. Let's use pack solution clone and use the name parameter. And let me add copilot demo in there. This will run the pack solution clone command and this will export the solution and it will export it as an unmanaged and a managed solution. 
and it will unpack it. So I already opened up Visual Studio Code with the right directory in there. So here we can see that it cloned the uh, Copilot demo solution. It has a directory for that because it already unpacked the whole thing. And it has a SRC folder for the source files. And in here, you can see all the source files of that solution. So the directory other uh, contains the solution.xml, where you can see the name, the Copilot demo name in here. You can see the localized name, which has a space in between, for instance. And you can see that we have a publisher profile and a bunch of other things in there as well. There's also a directory for bot components and bots. The bots directory is basically uh, the configuration and the bot XML of the, uh, the bot that we have created. It's not that interesting for this scenario because the bot components are way more interesting. The bot components contain all the different topics that we have in the uh, copilot that we created in copilot studio so when we go back to the copilot screen let me cancel this and open up the copilot demo we can see with the topics and plugins that we have goodbye and greeting for instance if we skip to the visual studio code we have the goodbye and the greeting as well in there and there are a bunch of others like lesson one lesson two lesson three and what's really cool here is that every topic has its own directory. And in there, we have a bot component.xml, which is basically an XML file that they need to store the uh, bot components inside of Dataverse. And it has a data component. And the data component, let me change this from Markdown to YAML. There we go so that it has a little bit of color coding in there. And what's really cool here is that we can actually see the same thing as we saw in the code editor. So if we go to, um, let's see, which one was it? The conversation start. I think I sh showed that one to you. Um, so if we do that, we can see the um, whole thing here with the send message part. And this is something that we can also reuse inside of the um, inside of the copilot. So I can copy this. I can go back to the topics. I can go to a simple topic, and I can paste this, and it will show me the whole message in there. So this is really cool to see how you can reuse all these different uh, code features inside of Copilot Studio. And that was what I wanted to show you for this video. If you want to learn more, I have added some links in the description below. That was it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon.